Marchant Chevrolet Carbine without all the nonsense. Stay tuned, folks, because this video next is for you. Let's go ahead and get started. What's up, everybody? Chad Dolby here with Charleston Car Videos. Tonight, I wanted to show you the uh, 2017 Silverado Z71, and I wanted to show it to you at dusk or at night, right before it gets really dark. So, uh, one thing I like to show you the vehicles at nighttime sometimes because you can definitely see the, uh, the lighting on the outside and the interior lights and all that. So, stay with me for the next few minutes, and uh, let's do this together. So, uh, I picked out this red one right here, which looks really nice. And uh, wow, what a good looking truck. The Chevy Silverado, here's the key. And uh, first off, in the beginning of the video, I just want to thank you for taking time to click the video because uh, it means a lot to me to have subscribers and people watching. And uh, you know, we wouldn't, I wouldn't do this kind of stuff if it uh, wasn't for the fans out there checking them out. I mean, who wants to talk to uh, just the camera all day? But <laughs> anyways, I've been doing this since 2011. And uh, today we've got over 2,500 videos on the channel. So let's keep on rocking it out and take a look. Already off the get-go, you can see all the nice lighting at night here on this truck. And I'm going to back it out. Woo! That's a solid door. Man, I mean, it, that thing's shut real hard for me. You got your backup camera. Right there. Let's back this puppy on out of here. Without hitting another car. This is a bunch of trucks out here tonight. It sits up nice and high off the ground. You know, most people that are buying trucks, they like to sit a little higher and uh, and they like to use it as a truck, right? Yeah, exactly. Anyways, let's just kind of cruise it through the parking lot for a minute. Man, I love this truck. I mean, this feels good. You know, I, I film F-150s every week too, but this Silverado, man, this thing is like a cowboy's dream right again i heard somebody told me that one time they said they said the silverado truck is like a cowboy's truck <laughs> i don't know anyways cowboy it's the cowboy's cadillac that's what it was cowboy's cadillac but yeah it feels good man that blue camaro is looking nice if i could have two cars right now the camaro would sit at the house and the silverado too Man, that, now that would be living the American dream right there, wouldn't it? Man, one day, one day, right? One day. All right, so feeling good. I'm liking this. You know, it's not a cheap truck, folks. I mean, it's it's got a price tag on it. But um, I can tell you, it's comfortable on the inside. Let's cut these lights on real quick. <laughs> Those lights didn't help me much on, uh, on my side. But anyways, lighting looks pretty good. Pretty comfortable. Not bad. Comfortable truck, all right? Let's get out. I'm tired of talking on the inside. Let's get out and see what's going on. All right. I guess it would help. Maybe I can go ahead and cut these off real quickly here. Got your LED lights on the inside. Let's look at the outside. I'm gonna make sure my headlights are on so y'all can see that. Make sure my fog lights are on. Press that down. You'll see a little indication that it comes up right there. That well, camera, you want to get focused? Anyways, right there, there's an indication right there letting you know that the fog lights are on. Solid. Yeah, I picked red. I said red's going to look nice with that blue backdrop there at the Chevy store. It sure does. So it is the 2017 Chevy Silverado Z71. Did that sound good? Do I need to be an announcer? <laughs> Anyways, look at the front end on the truck. Absolutely gorgeous. You got your LED lighting that just really rolls nice and smooth right through there. It looks nice and clean. And uh, your projector headlamp. Oh yeah, get a nice close up, right? Then you got your grill with your black bow tie and your Z71 badge and then your fogs are down on the bottom right there. I can tell you those uh, light, that lighting system is gonna light the road up at nighttime for sure. And so front end's looking good on the truck. I like how the hood's got these inductions, as I would say. Not too bad. Ooh, that red Camaro's looking good too, isn't it? Man, I'll tell you. It's a nice night to be at the Chevy store. See, that's what your fog lights do right there. See, during the daytime, if you're watching a daytime video, you won't see that. So watching this video, you'll see that. 
So that's that's lighting up that puddle right there. I don't, you know, the driver doesn't get to see that too much. So I, I don't know what the uh, reasoning is on the lights just to be right there. Let me know in the comments. But uh, and then you can see the headlight starts. That little line starts right there, right out there. Okay. But again, that's your fog light, and that's what fog lights are for, to light that bottom area there, as we would say. Wheels look good. You know, I tell folks you cannot go wrong with a set of five-star wheels. Uh, these are, they're, they look chrome, but they're actually a polished aluminum. I will tell you, if you ever own a set of polished aluminum wheels, make sure you buy you some mother's polished aluminum wax or whatever that stuff is. Don't go spraying acid or degreaser on those rims. I did that to a set I had one time, and it stained them. Okay, I don't know, maybe times have changed, but anyways, you got Wrangler Goodyear tires, look fine. Those are 20 inch wheels, okay? 20 inch rims. Those are your running boards or rails on the bottom, right there. Full four door in size. Z71 logo on the back, looks good. Rear ends looking good on the Silverado. Check, check, check. I still got to look over here. I got to, I mean, if, I, if I'm seeing how beautiful that is, you need to see how beautiful that is, right? Got a nice chrome tip coming out the back with the Chevy bow tie on it right there. Um, you do, this is where, these are actually Crocs. Did you know that? Those are Crocs, pretty cool, huh? Anyways, you step right there, you can get into the back. One thing, now Ford, I like how they have this little thing behind here, I'll tell you about it in a second. But anyways, that's how you got them on both sides. You got your tow package there, your backup sensors in the back bumper, and then backup camera, black bow tie. Did you see that? I didn't, I'm gone, I moved back. It's lowering down nice and smooth, I like that feature. It already has a spray in bed liner in the back, it feels good. Then you got a window that opens and closes so you can throw that puppy dog a bone. If you got a brown lab like I do, put her in the back, take her for a little ride, have a little fun, right? I don't suggest getting on the main highways with your dog in the back though. I mean, we love our dogs. Uh, maybe cruise through the neighborhood or ride through the countryside. Anyways. Um, it's hard to see the window sticker, but what I can tell you, it's called Red Hot 5.3 liter V8 under the hood, six speed automatic. And uh, this one's priced out MSRP with packaging and everything, 52875 Five-star safety ratings, it gets 22 on the highway, 16 city average combined of 18 mile per gallon. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, all that stuff right there. And then uh, again, you got LED lighting on the interior now, so it's brighter and definitely lasts a lot longer. Leather wrapped steering wheel feels good. Four wheel drive right over here. Headlights over here, press that in for fog lights like you saw earlier. This is nice, center console, also center seat. If you wanna put a little honey bunny in there and go out on a date one night with her, there's actually a seat belt right there. Some guy commented when I said that one time, I would never put a girl in the middle of the seat with me. Well, dude, you got you a pretty little honey bunny. I don't know about you, but if there's a seat belt right there, I might sit her right there next to me. It just makes the night a little nicer, you know, on a date night, right? But anyways, <laughs> you know, like you said, if you get in an accident, it might not be a good spot to be in right in the middle. You got a good point there, buddy. But anyways, just having fun on the camera. That's just talking. Uh, good looking uh, display screen there. It is touch screen. Got a bunch of app stuff set up in there. There's a ton of technology. You know, that's not going to be a video for me today, but uh, you can definitely check those out online. There's a ton of in-depth reviews about all this stuff, but uh, I just want to show you the lighting at nighttime. It looks really good. Dual climate control. Um, again, your gauges look nice in here. Tire pressure monitoring system. All that looks really good. OnStar up top right there. You got your home link and uh, everything like that. This one doesn't have a sunroof. They do have Silverados though with sunroofs. You know, the ones that are fully, fully, fully loaded, which this one's pretty loaded out. But anyways, back seat's got plenty of room. And again, I'm still telling you, the lighting looks good, okay? It's a little bit brighter with my eyes looking at it compared to what the camera's seeing, but pretty bright, not bad for your uh, interior lighting at nighttime. Pretty good. I don't see any puddle lamps right down there. Don't see any puddle lamps. Hold on. You can see right here. You see the difference in the color? Let's take a look here. Hold on a minute. I don't know. I'm seeing something. Let's look under here and take a look. Ah. Uh, mm. 
Okay. See that light up there? That, that's that LED light up in the roof. That's shining down right there, okay? So, that's kind of neat. I don't know if Chevy had that in mind as making that somewhat of a puddle light rolling down to here, but that's pretty cool. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, Charleston Car Videos. It's not a video channel just for people in Charleston, South Carolina. Back in 2011, I was a car salesman selling cars off of these YouTube videos like this, okay? And that's how it all started. Now I do videos full time every day of the week on automobiles and different businesses. So I ask for you folks, if you're watching it 10 minutes into this video right now, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to build a fan base this year. Uh, you know, I used to have more subscribers. I don't know why some of them left. But anyways, I'm trying to build it back up, give some great content. I've noticed that a lot of y'all watch my Chevy Silverado videos more than anything. So that's why I've been filming them and that's why I'm doing this one tonight. Try to bring some good content. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else I could go over. If you got any critiques, I mean, I'm gonna be myself on the camera either way it is. But if you got anything that I could point out on the videos, a little bit of feedback, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Have a great day, have a great night and uh, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Always remember, folks, car buying made easy at Marchant Chevrolet. We're here for you. Make sure you subscribe today. Charleston Car Videos, your number one source for pre-owned car videos.